dollars 17 million naira stolen from my place during NSA's protest Oba of Lagos. The Oba of Lagos Rilwan Akiolu has said a total of two million dollars, about eight hundred million naira, and also seventeen million naira were stolen from his palace during the NSA's protest that rocked the nation in October twenty twenty. Akiolu, who spoke at the commissioning of the Glover Hall Memorial in London on Wednesday, stated that the loss Lagos suffered from the crisis is so enormous that than in any other part of the country. The monarch father said that those who committed the offence would not have done that if they knew the implication. Akilu said, I will support anything that will move Lagos forward. I have appealed to the federal government to assist Lagos with what we have suffered. The incident that happened here from the 20th of October to the 23rd is so saddening. The destruction we suffered in Lagos is so enormous than in any other part of the country. Many buildings were burnt, including vehicles to generate income. I can now say publicly that they stole away from my palace two million naira and seventeen mil two million dollars and seventeen million naira. Those who committed the offence would not have done that if they knew the implication, but as a father, I won't place any curse on them. Why okay, sorry. <laughs> the fact is as much as no one's funds should be stolen, you've got to under and, and I think this is why corruption thrives in Nigeria. You think that it is not dodgy for you to have two million dollars in your hand. Why is it not at the bank? Why? Were you sharing? I, 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 I'm not saying that you have no right to do that, but in this day and age where technology, like you even have the access to these kind of things and you even have a privilege to probably have like a special bank account. Why do you have that much? And you, and you expect people not to be suspicious that you are corrupt as well. You are having, and this is why m m corruption grows, festers. This is money laundry. Like what, why do you have that amount in your house? Isn't it suspicious? So, and, and that's the thing, because really, if your intentions were actually clear, you'd come out and say, why you have that money, first of all, which I personally you should explain. And immediately during, after, or we know that his palace was raided, that's fine. But immediately after that time, he could have announced that, yo, I have money in that part in my house. It's for this, da, 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 da. And then would have known. But then you've now, you've waited months after. You've written because cause now, because you know that you have to meditate and actually think, hmm, will people not question this and this and that if I release this publicly? Now it is hurting your pocket. Because honestly, why do you have that much money? Why? Why do you have that much money and we, we we can't see fruitful impact in where you're in where you're ruling because honestly at at this point it, it, the monarchy is just for fashion and it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing if you, it's for fashion to promote cultural whatever tourism just to promote that culture i think it's fine but you can't be there for fashion as well as having power and yet i don't know Honestly, from my end, it's just lack of sympathy for me. Because honestly, please, please, yeah. Now your pop, the people, the poor people in your community are suffering much worse. Okay, like it, it's like, of course, your money should not be stolen, but it raises eyebrows when two million dollars, eight hundred million era, it, cash, cash, because then. With the access that he has, the privilege that he has as a king, he can get any bank account anytime. So is it that this two million naira cannot be accounted for? Because again, it is suspicious if that kind of money is in your bank. Why do you have that? I think this is the more reason why why Nigerians should be very, very annoyed and angry. Absolutely. There are comments here and, and you know the first person here says Oba of Lagos, Bank of Nigeria. If Nigeria was a reasonable country, this Oba would have been in a cell explaining to securities how we got that kind of money. That Lagoon Oba can lie for Africa, but in a sane society, he'll be going to do exactly. It is suspicious. Very. Hmm. 
I weep for these countries. Nigerian people are suffering and over house to keep that amount of money in this house. As a leader, all what they could do is be, be marrying small, small girls. <laughs> Very bad. But it's just like, you are entitled to your own money, da 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 But, to some extent, because, again, do these people, I, I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. Someone said in a sales society, he won't make such statements publicly because that's money laundry, which is a big offense. Why will you keep two million naira, almost one billion naira in your apartment? I don't understand. And this person opens a picture and the picture um, shows a quote by Professor Lumumba and he says in Japan a corrupt person kills himself in China they will kill him in Europe they will jail him in Africa he will present himself for election so again period he has stated everything that's it why did people like to imitate Lai Mohammed before it was Gumi who said bandits are peaceful today even Oba of Lagos is still one of them now tell me what 70 million is doing in your palace honestly in the grand scheme of things it's kind of little money but then if you have two million dollars and you expect yeah i don't know i don't know that, that exactly it's illegal money laundering because i'm not thinking to myself does he not have a right to have his own money in his house but for that kind of amount that should be in a bank because then it shows that you know what it's suspicious because is he trying to say the money cannot be accounted for? What business is he doing? I don't understand. And it's not like he they he collects taxes. In his yeah. See the corruption is just yeah. Yeah. Um and he's even bold to say that. That's what I'm saying. Because it's like if you really had I don't know, because it's hurting his pockets. And now he's realizing that, you know what, I've got nothing to lose. And honestly, the government that does not apply, you know, the law or implement it, will literally not even care. So, honestly, in a, say, in a, in a normal country, he wouldn't even come out to say that because he's literally implicating himself. But then again, it is hurting his pocket because he's like, that money has left my account. Not even account. Left my, like, why, why, why? And you think it's not, and you think it's, 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 uh. Someone here says, how many oil wells do you have? His mother said that millions of dollars is in your palace. How did you get some kind of money? How did you make the money? Can you tell Nigerians what your allowance per month is? And when last you worked? And your I don't understand. Put what I think about it in the comment section below because again... If the government can have low standards and not even keep up to accountability, we can't expect more from, you know, these monarchs who are there for decoration. My personal opinion is, we can have history and museums. We don't necessarily need you to... Yeah, I don't I don't see any use for these roles anymore. People are thinking in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe.